but men never want to take accountability for the things that they do wrong. They cannot see it. They go through this like gaslighting thing and they believe that they can't do anything wrong. Respectfully, I don't even think y'all can help it because if you look at like old psychology work by Sigmund Freud, he talks about this with males that most of them have like a narcissistic tendencies. So when women are telling you constantly that certain things aren't working, like you guys have proved my point this whole time, like you don't listen to us. So like, I think how women are getting married and I'm sorry. So how don't we listen to you? Like you've, you've told me I'm wrong this entire time, this entire I mean time. I didn't listen to you. That just mean that I disagree with what you said. But I I gave you pretty good points and you were like, that's pretty much not true. Oh, you, you made some points, but I think true. that the points that you did make, it actually argued in my favor. And the thing that a lot of times these people Whatever, define is that's cognitive distance. That's not true. The thing that a lot of these people describe as narcissistic is not mm -hmm. that's the emasculation of a male, right? What they no. just try to describe as narcissistic is actually what is inherently you. So for a man to be a leader or for a man, a lot of the things that they describe for a man to be narcissistic in is basically some of the same traits that make men great CEOs. It's the, yeah. it's the, thing, that make, it's the thing that make men great surgeons. It's I think it that, makes most men great when it comes to work, but when it comes to relationships, y'all are missing stuff. It's, it's a lack of empathy, first of all. They act like women are the ones that aren't empathetic, and we are, and they gaslight women into thinking that they're better and they're not improving. No wonder the divorce rate is what it's at, to be honest with you. And I'm not even saying that men are inherently bad people. It's just that they can't address certain things because they're protecting their ego, honestly. And I know that the ego gets really, whenever I say ego, men always will get really mad. You guys are fine, but like they jump to defending it. And I'm not even saying that that's a bad thing. It's that when you have these narcissistic tendencies, it doesn't matter what she says to you because you protect that ego. It's always constantly, no, she's wrong. No, she's wrong. No, she's wrong. Oh, and y'all never improve. You're, you're wrong because who yeah. has the narcissistic behavior in uh, the LGBT relationship amongst women? Mm -hmm. They got uh, the Butch one, the butch one, actually. The butch With, one. So, so she's yeah. not a man. She it's just like, pretends to They speak. have a mindset of a guy. They're, they they're the, they operate this thing. Yes, sir. Uh, no, no, they got the I, jeans and the shirt of a guy. Right. Okay. No, no, look. I, I want to ask you one question. Hey, hey. Hey, I want to ask you a question. Give me okay. an example of you say these women have these leaderships, qualities. <laughs> yeah. Give me one good example of a woman with leadership. What do you mean exactly? Like in a leadership position? Because we're not getting them. But in can I demonstrate how they're running yeah. the household? <laughs> they run the whole household. That's good enough. You guys couldn't. Wait, 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 hold up, wait, 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 are you joking? You, what? Don't, you don't respect your girlfriend's kids at all. You just Calm proved down. my whole wait, point. Wait, wait, hold you just up. Wait. proved my point. Wait, baby, hold on. So you telling me programming a Roomba on your phone, that takes what? leadership. What is that? Programming a Roomba on your phone takes leadership. A Roomba. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Ask Carrie, Carrie, running your your household. You're married. You got kids. Does it take leadership? Yes, and it and takes it, a lot of energy and responsibility. Logic. No, that's a good point. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 Oh, you oh, just no, asked a question. I got I'm answer yeah. questions. No, so wait, I'm going to say this, right? So wait, 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 hold, on, hold on, 2K. Hold on, 2K. I just want to say this. So do you say the Amazon worker that goddamn stack up a thousand boxes, that manual mm -hmm. labor, do that takes a lot of leadership? That's like not a hard thing to do. That's, That's what... The the oh. guy or the the building the pyramids back in the day they had people building stuff it didn't mean they were no, no, running no, no. Egypt. So, you agree. 
So you agree, stacking oh. boxes in an Amazon warehouse don't take a lot of leadership, right? That's not a leadership position at all. Okay. At all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And why is it not a leadership position? Because you're gonna try can... to compare this with women no, no. controlling no, the house. Wait. Design. Oh, wait. Huh? The reason it don't take leadership to run a household because you're not leading nobody. You literally can the do husband. that by yourself. The husband. They're well, man children. Hold on. Listen, Logic, that's why a lot of okay. households are messed up today because there's a lot of single mothers. Yeah. So Exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. Married so single mothers. Me, you don't understand. Are you going to be a married single mother, ma'am? <laughs> What? Because she be raising <laughs> a family she by herself. And y'all think because y'all go to work, y'all can't help with the family of the house. You want to talk about the welfare state? Men said, were not even trying. working. <laughs> Men were not working. Listen, Sorry, anytime y'all get, anytime the kids don't listen to y'all, who do y'all call? We call y'all. Oh, daddy. You want to know why? Daddy. That's so you know why? That's not every household. Hun, hun, let me you explain that. You the leader to get the keys, Steve, and scrape. Uh, you're, you're right. Uh, we do uh, need one. We have an issue with that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. One person, one person at a time. Uh, but men or young boys when they get to like a stage of 10 or 11 i believe it is whenever they realize that they're stronger than women they will not respect their mom this has been documented for a long time hold on hold on let me finish calm down but for, that's why men in the home is so in, men in the home is so cool to keep uh like it's one of the factors that keeps men out of like jails and stuff young boys or whatever juveniles but Honestly, back in the day, well, mm -hmm. I won't go there unless you guys want me to. It's awkward, but I'm the only one person on this panel. But it's it's a good point. She don't understand. Let her finish. I'm I'm right. I thought she was done. She's not done. She got to finish her her point. Go ahead. So if we look specifically at the black community and the welfare state when it started, yeah, I know, I know, sorry, forgive me. Some, um, but uh, when they got through with uh, Anton, you probably know the year with uh, like no father in the home act. When was that? What year was that? Do you know? I'm not know? sure exactly. I think it was 1964. Is it? I feel like it, it was, was 60 it or 72. I don't know. Great society. When it's that great happened, it, we all know this, I'm sure, but it incentivized men to not be in the home. But the issue that nobody talks about is that in order for those moms to receive welfare or and to not receive it as if the man was working, none of the men were working. They wouldn't go and get jobs. So the moms had to pick up the slack of the men that could not lead, they could not get a fucking job, they wouldn't get off their ass, and then, yeah, so, that's pretty much all I had. Well, you got that all wrong, man, but you ain't never watched good times. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. She, she's wrong, she's wrong. Yeah, she's wrong, she's a little one, wrong. One of, the, one, of the, one of the reasons why oh my things God. played out, one of the reasons why things played out the way that it played out was because of the wars, okay? And what happened was women started working because of the wars, because all of the men were out fighting the wars. I know so, that. I'm talking about specifically like- you gotta, you gotta Hold on, baby girl, because when we talk about narcissistic behavior, you want people to be quiet so that you can finish your point, but you gotta mm -hmm. also let us finish my point too, right? And so what happened was women started taking over some of the jobs that were in the factory. And then a lot of the men weren't coming home because they were dying from the wars. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the times they had to pick up the slack and it started to create a dynamic between men and women to where the power started shifting because the women started doing some of the similar jobs that men were doing, even though they weren't doing some of the hardest jobs that men were doing, considering that we built the world and technology had advanced to the point to where we, we were able to make your jobs easier. So you didn't have to do as much manual labor as men did prior mm -hmm. to the wars. Now, what happened was... They incentivized women in order to break up their homes because that was one of the first first waves of feminism. 
right? It was an opportunity for them to empower women and then for women to then recruit other women from other demographics in order to incentivize them to continue to shift that dynamic. And then it made it more independent on or more made it more interdependent on the federal government. Yeah. And then that created an entirely new voter block. It had nothing mm -hmm. to do with people being lazy. But that, that was after like World War II, right? It had nothing to do with men being no, lazy. No, I know. I'm men talking of always, I'm talking women, men always made more money than women. I, I know. I know. I know that whole thing. Women working, taking over the jobs while they went to war. I know that stuff. I'm talking about like 20 years later. That was 1960. Well, what year are you speaking of specifically? I was saying like 1968, 1972. It is the first okay. wave. Or, I'm sorry. It's the second wave of feminism. That was when uh, the consciousness stuff or uh, oh, Margaret, Margaret Sanger. My grandma what? told me about these. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1968. Men were working and, and they weren't incentivized um, to be at the house. The women were incentivized because now for the first time they had a chance to do any fucking thing they wanted to with no with no supervision over them. I get to be a woman, still have my family fed, and I ain't got to listen to no man. So in a, for, for, for better choice of words, a lot of women traded their man in for fucking welfare. I they, don't but that the men I thought were leaders. They they were leaders, but women. They sound like a bunch of bitches, honestly.